Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a recent experience that my friends Don and Kevin went through with their Grand Design Solitude S class. They experienced a leak in their roof uh, and they will explain all that and show you how they got their roof repaired. This was recorded uh, by Don and Kevin and used with their permission so that we could get this information out to other Grand Design owners or even anyone with an RV who might be experiencing a leak problem. It could probably work in a lot of different applications. So watch the video. I hope it's helpful for you. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. So everything from the roof is almost removed now. This is as far up as I dare go. Sean's down there dil diligently working, getting off all the decor and everything that has to come off to be able to do the new roof. And the roofing is coming off. Very thin, this stuff. They take it off in strips. This is very, very skinny. makes you wonder how it's possible, as sticky as that is, how that can bubble up and come off. Get wind driven air under it. We'll get loose. And that's how it's done. So apparently this flashing, I guess it's called flashing, um, that was on the roof, there is supposed to be butyl tape underneath it to prevent air and water from getting under the roof. And apparently that tape was not present. It's, this is the roofing material and this is supposed to be butyl tape under here and not present. So that would be how we are having some roof damage. So the rubber roof is all gone. Some of the wood up front there that I can't show you um, is going to have to be replaced. We did have some damage, so thankfully it didn't get on the inside, so that's going to get taken care of. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the piece of OSB that was covering the most forward end of the rig. That's where, uh, where you see that grass there. That's where the um, air conditioner was. Where you see all of this gray stuff, that was Kevin's. That was my temporary fix. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was his. It, it kind of worked. His kind of working temporary fix. It did get us through a couple of rainy nights so that we didn't get rained on. However, as you can see, 
we did get moisture in and just a little bit of mold but it's still that would have just kept growing so this is being replaced and it's gonna take a few days what are you going on about deer Probably do tell everybody's wondering what you're talking about nothing honey <laughs> how about how about um rafters are they ever 16 inches yeah it looks that way good <laughs> they're, they're doubles on each side of the ac too well and they damn sure should be so, oh yeah there's a lot of damage in that piece so tell all that we've been finding now hun uh you folks out there that own Grand Design 2930s between COVID era, COVID era, of course ours was pre-COVID, but ours is a 2020, so 2019, 2020, 21s, 22s, you better look at your roofs because the front, front trim piece that transitions from the front cap to the roof membrane there was no butyl tape underneath it and and it it broke loose and got wind air underneath on my offside side offside side of the rig and ballooned it so be on the lookout. Oh, and and your your roof vent is pretty much doesn't work because all they did was cut a flap, a V-shaped flap in the roof membrane, and then slapped a roof vent on it, i.e., no airflow to get from out of the roof through that one vent. So it's useless. And in the meantime. Kevin is getting solar panels ready. New new brackets. New brackets put on the solar panels. New and improved brackets. So they will be ready to be installed when the roof is done. Can you explain how that um, worked, hun, as far as the different bracket that's gonna go on the roof? I could. So this is my old bracket, called a Z bracket or double L or something like that. This was previously mounted on the solar panels like this. And then you would screw your panel to your roof. Okay. Okay. Which if you're directly to your roof, Every time you would have an issue with your panel, you would have to remove all the screws holding these brackets down and pull your entire panel. This new and improved bracket that I found on Amazon simply sits on the side. Whoops. <laughs> Sits, sits on the side. Sorry, I'm still doing it wrong. Sits on the side. There's two ears here that hold the panel down. But on the side, it's got a side hole. And because I have one of those fancy um, rivet, uh, rivet nut tools and, and rivets, I can then install this into the side of my panel, pre-drilling the hole, obviously. Okay, and by doing that, I'm taking in this rivet nut, I'm securing to the panel frame itself. Now, with that being said, because 
these rivet nuts, once you install them on whatever you install them on, is crimped and installed, it creates a lip. Okay? So, so if I was to take and mount this, it would have movement side to side. So what I've got are there it is. half inch fender washers that I take and put on the outside of that rivet and it gives me a much larger surface to put the screw into. So now, if my panel ever goes bad, as long as I can find the same size width panel, I can reutilize these brackets over and over without having to remove them from the roof. So the brackets themselves will be permanently sealed to my new roof that they're putting on right now. And I won't void my warranty. Nice. Okay, so now that everything is off the roof, um, this is the next day. And this stuff is called what, Sean? Woven polyethylene woven polyethylene so this is going to go down on the roof before the actual roofing uh, right on top of the osb it gives it tensile strength so here we are we've got what did you call that stuff sean woven poly woven poly so we've got some of it on already. I love this contraption here. It just mm -hmm. makes it easier for me to pull that roll down. And it, it bonds to the roof, right? Yeah. The product goes through the, the permeable fabric and bonds directly to the product. That's so awesome. And he's got... Um, this 3M, is that a foil tape? Yeah. Foil tape to prevent any, any gaps or anything along all the edges. Get that rolled on. So what's that liquid that you're using? This is our, our roof system, liquid applied. RV Armor Liquid Applied Stuff. <laughs> all right, getting closer. Look, all the stuff is getting put back in. Sean is just working hard putting sealants and stuff down. All that stuff that I don't understand. <laughs> but that's going to be the color, so that's good. Very nice. All right, good morning. So today is day three. Um, right now, Sean is just... Uh, squeegeeing the dew off the roof so what's the goal today sean today i'm going to do fabric on both radiuses and set the air conditioners flash over all the fabric around all the penetrations and roll out the final coat all right Stay tuned. Uh -huh. 
Hey guys. All right, here it is. This is day four. Um, and we are completed. I can't walk on it yet. The, it has to cure for three days. I'll do one more video when I can get up here and walk on it. Um, and that's also when we will put the other solar panels back on. So, looks like it's very well done, very well sealed. Um, just to give you an idea, I can show you right down here that the seal went all the way over into the um, the water tracks so that the water will actually go into the tracks. So it goes right over the whole thing. There's no water getting in here anywhere. There's just no way. Well done, RV Armor. Good morning. You'll have to excuse the noise. The neighbor across the street is having something done to his driveway. Anyway, in the meantime, so I can finally get up here on the roof. Um, it's still a little, a little tacky, but I don't make footprints. Um, so that's good. So here we are. We haven't put the um, solar panels up just yet. It was really terrible rain yesterday. So, and it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. Um, probably, we'll probably put these up again next week. But this is where they'll go. On these things here that are secure to the roof and they are a little higher off the roof so there's going to be a lot of airflow underneath the solar panels which will help keep them cool. Um, the combiner box here, Kevin's got that protected from the rain of the underneath side that goes into the rig so that'll be taken care of too but as you can see the rv armor they completely do everything and i'm going to show you this spot right here that is completely sealed it doesn't um it's not like with the dicor you have to take it off every once in a while and redo it you know this you don't ever have to do that They've done the same around everything. So, and this is where one of the solar panels are. It's completely secured to the roof. Um, this is one of the skylights. You can see that this just never moves. It doesn't need redoing or anything. look over here at the problem area that we had so as you can see they just completely sealed in the entire strip all along that front cap there is nothing getting in there and then as far as underneath the air conditioner because this was the area that we had problems with. The whole, this whole part of the roof had come up. So, here, let me. You can't even see under there. But that goes all the way under. There's no way any water can get through. The rain that we had yesterday, I mean, it really rained a lot and it came down hard and it was windy and there is just no damage at all. Just completely sealed around everything.
So I'm pretty happy. The only thing is, is that it was supposed to be tan <laughs> and it's not tan, it's gray. I'm not sure what happened there, but nobody else is gonna see it. So I'm all right with that. As long as I don't have any problems, I'm good. And that's, that's it, RB Armor, yay. Take care guys, bye.